Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more of the Long Dark Winter Mute. Um, we are back up at the at the farm. Where are we? We are, yeah, Paradise Meadows Farm. So we actually need to go back to see Grey Mother. I don't know why that says Grey Mother there. She ain't there. She's over there. Grey Mother hasn't left the house, unless she has left the house, in which case there's a problem. Um, but we want to head back into town. We came up here just to check around stuff, pick up our trap. Um, what we actually want to do is get back into town now, and I want to try and set that new trap. We've got a snare, and I want to try and set up around here, either the woodlot or the park, where we saw lots of rabbits. See if we can't get some rabbit meat. Um, but other than that, there shouldn't be anything we need here. We're in good condition, and it's still plenty of daylight, so let's just go straight back outside. I think that'll work out best for everyone, let's be honest. Now, obviously, Paradise Meadows is full of... Wolves, which is why I generally call this place Wolf Meadow. There's a wolf over there. Uh, there's a deer up there. That's fine. There's a wolf in that house. I just saw the tail. Uh, right. Keep the torch ready, because we can light this up and throw it at them. And try and scare them off if it does come after us. But if we can get around it, I will. Problem is, there's so many wolves around here. Go around the back of the building. I mean, the deer are up there, which is a good sign. You're running this direction? I don't know why you would do that. Okay, that's... Yeah, heading away from us. That one must have come out of the building. That's fine. Uh, it's quite windy at the moment, so we are losing quite a lot of body temperature quite fast. We're down two ticks. Which isn't great. Um, probably need to check the condition of some of our clothing as well. We had previously been pretty good on body temperature. And I've noticed the last couple of episodes, although it has been very windy, we're losing body temperature quite fast, faster than I would normally expect. Which makes me think the condition of our clothing has decreased and we're, we're just losing body temperature through like ragged holes in our trousers. Might need to spend an evening just doing a bunch of repair work. We'll see. Uh, oh, okay, you're a bit closer than I would like. Two wolves. We've seen like three or four around here before, so you've got to be a bit careful. You're going to have a bit of a howl, that's fine. Okay, we should be good. We should be clear once we pass this point. Uh, until we get back into town proper. Then we've got to be a bit more careful because there are like three or four wolves that are coming down from the north. Every day they seem to be a little bit closer. Which, which I don't really like, I'll be honest. That's not a thing I'm a fan of. Yeah, this wind is pretty high. If I try and hug the sides here, we might be able to block out... Th yeah, there we go, we're actually in shelter from the wind. Still down one tick, though, even though it's almost midday. Yeah, our clothing almost definitely needs some kind of repair work doing to it. Because we shouldn't be losing that much body temperature. We're actually surviving pretty well without losing any body temperature before, so... Okay, that's just stuff rattling in the wind. Always pays just to take a break every so often, just listen. The, the sound effects in the game are very crucial. Okay. Now we could try and put our snare down around here. There was still like a rabbit that was running around the place. We might get lucky. Is what I'm thinking. If that rabbit is still around. I mean, there used to be like a bunch of rabbits here and then they've all left. And I'm not actually seeing any right now. So, let's see. We could go and warm up a bit and then head to the park and put the snare down. Or we could just go see Grey Mother because she does have another quest to give us. And I wouldn't mind grabbing that. I could also try and grab some meat as well. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Those wolves, those wolves are getting a lot closer. In fact, if they're getting closer every day, there is meat over here that we haven't grabbed yet. I wouldn't mind harvesting as much as we can. We can take that in and cook that up while we warm up anyway. So let's see what we've got. There are two kilos of meat still left on this, which isn't bad. Um, and I can get that in, 30, in 19 minutes with the hatchet. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay. Nope, no, hang on, wait. That way, okay. I 
got com I got completely turned around then. I couldn't tell which way I was facing. Okay, two kilos of meat. That's plenty to go warm up. I really don't like the fact those wolves are getting closer and closer. Uh, body temperature is almost gone, so we do need to get indoors before we start catching the risk of hypothermia. Wolves are howling. I don't know if they're howling because they're happy and they're enjoying the cold weather or what. They seem to be howling more and more. I'd like it if they could stop doing that as well. Right, can put away the torch, we don't need that anymore. Right, we're back with Great Mother, we'll start warming up. Everything else is still fine, we're a little bit hungry, but uh... Let's cook up this raw meat first. 66%, yeah, they're pretty low quality, but we'll get at least two of these out of there. And I might eat one of them straight away, because the meat will deteriorate over time. We don't want to give ourselves food poisoning, so... If we get both of these cooked up... There's our body temperature recovered, which is nice. And let's eat some fresh venison, shall we? Are you going to appear in my dude? Oh, you are. Beautiful. Yeah, that almost fills us up perfectly. And then we just want to drink some water. And we're good. Okay, so we're fully fed, fully watered, and our body temperature is back up. So, Grey Mother, what What's next? this last thing you need from me? Right or wrong from the past, Outsider. That's all I ask. How can I do that? Take these pearls to Lily. Who's Lily? Lily? Okay, yeah. Who's Lily? All this time I thought you were talking about my friend. Who is Lily? You'll find her at the graveyard. Okay. Near the church, you would have passed on the way to town. Yeah, I've been that way several times. It's full of wolves now. Why would you be waiting for me by the church? You aren't making any sense. There's no one there. That we've been to the church. It's abandoned. You'll find her there and your answers. That makes no sense. So why did I steal pearls from a bank? Not from the bank, from the farmer, Barker. I mean, the Barker put them in the bank. I stole them from the bank. It make, you know. Yeah, farmer's gone. He's dead. We found him in the shed. Okay. So this is the third time she's said we've got to do something for her and then she'll help us find Astrid. So, I'm nice, nice standing on the chair. Um, I'm getting a bit fed up with this old lady. Like, I appreciate the fact she's giving me warmth and food and all that stuff, but... Goddamn. Oh, apparently... Oh, she's also giving me some more homemade soup. I'm going to leave that be, actually, because I don't need that right now. We just ate. Although the warmth bonus would be nice, but... We'll be okay. Uh, let's see. I want to check my clothing. What's low condition right now that we're wearing? Because it feels like... That's 65%. I mean, nothing's bad. 65% is the lowest we've got. I could do preparing a bunch more stuff, just to keep it in good condition, but... Yeah, that we're actually not as bad as I thought we'd be. I guess it's just really cold out there. So, we've got to go up to... We're here. Yeah, we've got to go back up to the graveyard. Damn. We've been up that way before. It's not impossible to get to. It's just... The, the wolves. How am I going to get past the wolves? And who's Lily? I'm guessing Lily's buried in the graveyard. I mean, we've been to the graveyard already. There's no one there. Oh, and the mist is coming in as well. So visibility's going to suck. I mean, we can get up there. You know, we've got enough daylight. The poor visi the vi visibility is as bad as it could be. I don't. I don't think this is too much of a problem for us to do. I just want to. I want to try and look over this and see where the wolves are. Right there, Jesus! They're getting close. Okay, right. Um. Huh. Right. Okay. Fair enough. That's a thing. That's a thing we have to deal with. Get me a torch out. Um, I didn't see any wolves this way. There's, the wolves are over that way now. Good job I didn't put that snare down over there. That wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get to that snare if I'd done that. So the wolves have moved round to there now. I'm assuming. I can only really assume this is being driven less by procedural generation kind of code and more by the story elements of the game because they've Ne you know, we're watching them get closer, but they've never gone into town before. Although that was what I was afraid of, so maybe it is just chance and bad luck. 
Well, well actually, I suppose maybe it is lucky, because now we can actually move up this way where we couldn't move before. I don't know. That could be by chance, or this is the story element of the game playing out. I'm used to these kind of things happening more naturally, because I've played a lot of the survival part of the game. Okay, wolf on the left. I don't see any wolves on the right. Ooh, body temperature's fine. That's good. Okay. Yeah, the wind's dropped down, so... Oh, woodlock. Apparently I hadn't discovered the woodlock. I've, just, I've been past it several times and just not discovered anything. Is there anything over here? There's some firewood. Uh, I mean, I don't actually need any firewood right now. We haven't needed a fire in a while. But I get... I mean, the game isn't going to keep us here forever. We've been stuck in Mil Milton for a while now. But the game is going to have us move on at some point. So maybe I should be taking firewood. I need to have a plan for actually leaving at some point. I'm not living with this old lady for the rest of my life. Okay, there's the wolf. He is kind of heading down this way, but... I mean, the graveyard's just up ahead there. That's where that fence is, so... He shouldn't be a problem for that, unless there's a wolf ahead of us. Yeah, it's quiet and I can't hear anything. Wolf has turned around. There's the church. Now we do have to be careful. There were a lot of wolves up here before. Uh, this looks to be okay. So... Well, there's no lily here, but... Grave marker. Yeah. Kind of what I inspected. Lilith Barker. Nineteen sixty nine to nineteen eighty five. Okay. What's their connection to Grey Mother? Is that her daughter? Her mother? Become no, probably not her mother. Uh, maybe a daughter? Her sister? A girlfriend? A wife? I don't know. Ooh, oh god. Okay, the mist is closing in pretty rapidly. Body temperature is still fine. We are getting quite tired, though. Um, uh, no, let's stay on this side because of the wolf. I can't... Yeah, this is what I didn't want to have to do, is do it in this kind of weather, because now we can't see the wolf. Pretty certain the wolf will be able to see us, though. Is that a tree stump? That's a tree stump. Okay. There he is. Okay. Let's just stay on this side. God damn. The game is beautiful when the weather closes in like this, but it's also going to be what gets us killed, let's be honest here. I also love this piece of music. Let's get back into town. Hopefully those wolves aren't going to be a problem on the other side. Speak of the devils. There's a much more intimidating sound when the weather's like this and you can't see shit. Okay, let's cut off to this side again. We should be able to just get back up the slope we came down before. As long as none of them have moved down to this side by Grandmother's house. If they have, then I'm going to really need to borrow that rifle of hers.
Ooh, yeah, you are getting close. Do not appreciate that whatsoever. Okay, let's not push our luck. I don't want to get attacked by a wolf on the doorstep again. Although we did manage to kill that wolf and get some meat from it, so that wasn't too bad. Lily was your daughter. Ah, there we go. You have a good heart, Mackenzie. You see things others would miss. But the name, Lily Barker, related to the farmer? He said they were liars and cheats. The years have made me angry. Lily was my daughter. Our daughter. I am also a Barker. The farmer was my husband. You lived apart. Yes. Our Lily died climbing. She wanted to summit all the peaks on Great Bear. She was young, already very talented. One day she went out alone. I said no, but he said yes. Let her go. She needs to face it alone. So she faced it alone. And fell. I never forgave him. And the pearls? They were my mother's. I gave them to Lily on her 16th birthday, the year she died. I wanted the pearls buried with her, but her father wanted to keep them to remember her. We fought bitterly and never spoke again. Losing a child is... Like losing your own life. But now, maybe you can save your friend. And Lily's death doesn't have to be for nothing. How? Take this key. Upstairs, in my Lily's old room, is a trunk with her old climbing things. Take the rope and the map. Follow Lily's path and you'll find the back way through the mountains. It's the only way to find the route to Perseverance Mills. I hope you find her. Thank you. What will you do? I'm content to sit here and think of my Lily resting with her favorite pearls. You've done a lot for me, Mackenzie. I won't forget about you. I, I'll try to come back. Or I'll send help for you. There's bound to be someone out there who can help. My journey is finished. But yours is only beginning. Go. Go and don't think of Grey Mother or Milton. We're of the old world now. The new world is for the strong to survive. Holy crap, that was a bit heavy. And also, like, desperately, desperately sad. So that is Grey Mother's daughter. She died climbing. The f that might give us a way out of here, which means we're probably... I guess I'm... I'm Retrieve the, yeah, retrieve the climbing gear, and then I guess we're leaving, which means we've got to start trying to decide which of this stuff we're taking with us, because I can only carry about 20% of it. But okay, I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode, so I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you're enjoying all this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you are, and hopefully I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Bye.